Ray Hasse. So in this video, I want to talk to you about nesting. Now, nesting is a technique that allows you to write CSS properties inside other CSS properties. And it sounds confusing, but it's actually not. It's actually really intuitive. And we're going to see in just a second why exactly that is useful. So in this example, I deleted my old awesome website and we're going to be building a simple navigation menu. I figured we might as well build something that looks halfway decent. So let me just go ahead and start doing that. And I'm going to stick everything inside nav tags and I'm just going to make all of my menu items list items. So for the first one, I'll just uh, make it a dead link. I won't actually have it linking to anything. And this first page can be home. And let me just copy this two more times. So we're going to have three buttons on here. And these won't actually be pages. This will just be a template for a menu. So say home, bacon, and tuna. So this would be something like your about page meet uh, the team page, contact page, whatever you want. But this is our plain structure. And right now, this is what our navigation menu looks like. Pretty awful. So let's go ahead and spice this bad boy up. So I deleted all my other SAS from the last tutorial. And I'm actually going to be using the one technique that we learned already, which is variables. So I'm going to use BG color for the background color. And one of my favorite colors is two c 3e50 why is this not typing 2c 3e50 and my freaking keyboard is not connected are you kidding me oh my god all right and we're back from a short commercial break i actually only had two double a batteries left in my entire house so lucky me all right, we're in the middle of a color, so E50. And the cool thing I like about WebStorm is it actually gives you a preview of your color right there, so you can click it and change it if you want. But I'm also going to have two other colors. One is the color whenever I hover over it, so I'm going to name it Hover Color. And one of my other favorite colors is 16. And the last variable that I'm going to use is just the text color. And the text color is just going to be white. So text color. So the color for white is FFF, FFF. All right. So what we're going to do is this. We're going to style the elements inside our navigation menu. Now before, whenever we're just writing basic plain old CSS, each property went on its own separate little section. But what I want to do is I kind of want to write this so it's more intuitive whenever I'm designing it. So I'm actually going to style the overall navigation menu first. Now inside here is where I typically write all my properties and then underneath it go on to the next thing. But what I want to do is I only want to style this item right here. So I may have a bunch of other unordered lists and list items and also links on my website, but I only want to style these ones if they're inside the navigation menu. So instead of adding each different chunk and having it get all jumbled together, you can actually write other properties right inside here. Now, whenever we write this, what we're saying is the styles that we're going to be writing right here only apply them if they're inside your navigation. So we can do something like this. background and we'll just include background color right here so what we're saying is for the unordered list background color only apply this background to unordered list if it's inside the navigation menu if there are any other unordered list anywhere else then they're just going to have the default styling and this is a, a lot more intuitive way of looking at it because you're basically designing your css how your brain is looking at it and how it resembles your html code so it's pretty sweet now i'm also going to set the margin to zero and i swear i freaking hate max padding i am not used to them at all 
I just thought it would be good since everyone, you know, web designs on a Mac, might as well use my Mac for this tutorial. And list style to none. All right, so that's all we want to do for the overall unordered list, which is our main entire menu. Now, another thing I want to do is for the individual buttons, which are the list items, I'm just going to hit display inline block. I believe they're blocked by default, which means they would stack on top of each other. But if we set those to an inline block, then it'll be good for like the top navigation where you want everything side by side. And let me give myself a little bit more room so I can, I like being able to scroll a little bit. All right, now the last thing I want to do, actually not the last thing, but one of the last thing is style those links. Now for the links, the color, I just want to have text color. So I want to make sure that um, the menu buttons have a white font. And I also want to display these as inline blocks. And for the padding, right now they're bunched up against each other. And this is great if you're just making a regular list, but whenever you're making a navigation menu, you usually want to give it some kind of padding so they look like buttons and not just you know text bunched up against each other. So for the top and bottom padding, I'm gonna have 10 pixels. For left and right, I'll have 16. That's a shorthand version of that. And also for text decoration, I'm just gonna put none. And this is gonna make it so there are no like bullet points or any weird symbols next to my list items. So for the last thing, I'm gonna have a property whenever I hover over these buttons. And all I'm going to do whenever I hover over them is change the background color. So by default, the background is BG color, and I just want to set it to hover color. So I'll copy this, paste it in there, and boom, look at that. Now, look how this compiles. Hmm, that kind of looks like a mess just looking at it. Now, if you didn't even, you know, aren't familiar with CSS at all or web design, what's more intuitive to look at? This, where you see, okay, you're pretty much reading it, it says this stuff is inside this, or all of this. I mean, I've been doing web design for a long time, and even still, I would have to go through line by line by, okay, this is all part of the navigation menu, and okay, that's a mess. This is just, you know, it just feels more comfortable. So now whenever I refresh this, check it out. How awesome is that? Boom, boom, boom. And if we ever want to do something like change the hover color of these, then we can easily do that. See, hover color is like uh, 009900. It's kind of a weird, stupid color, but I just want to show you guys that once it compiles, it gets updated right here. And if I refresh my page, we now got a new background color. So there you go, that is nesting. Essentially all it is, is the ability to write properties inside other properties. And it's a really cool, new and intuitive way to style child elements. So uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next time.